All right, boys, this is the ultimate kickoff tournament single elimination. I was ranked around 50, so I had to play on Sunday to get to the final 64 uh, of the entire world Madden tournament for the ultimate kickoff, the first tournament of the year. Always the best. I always feel like I'm really tough in the first tournament of the year uh, because not a lot of people know the meta yet. They got to learn it. I'm really good at making the meta or coming up with my own meta or being ahead of the curve, so to speak. So love the first tournament. This was round one against Davo. And Dummy is your Madden Bowl Bro, What is up with these guys? Really super bummer, dude. What I really want to ask you guys is... How do you want to watch these tournament games? Breakdowns like this, or you want me to edit them like a normal video in 10 minutes? I want to alternate, see which one you guys like more, um, because we can get really sweaty in this game right now, uh, for sure. But this is it. I've showed you guys my team on a couple videos, man. I have, obviously, the Patriots and the Seahawks theme team, Warren Moon, Devin Hester, all the boys you guys know. Uh, but we're starting off this one here. This is, uh, like I said, we're playing Davo Davo. Uh, PlayStation, so not somebody I know anything. Obviously, at this point, a lot of people know what I do and they know what I'm going to do. So, but he gets the ball first. It feels good. Uh, if you guys are on Madden Turf, I had to do some subs because of Patriots and Seahawks. If you guys are on Madden Turf premium memberships, know that I'm going to run nickel blitz zero. I'm going to blitz here. He had me a little shambles the first play, so I'm stuck in cover four. Really tough right here. Just I don't want to say unprepared, but. Just did a brain fart the first play. Didn't flip my defense like I wanted to. Audible to cover four. Get dotted for a huge play. So he's crossed the 50 already first drive. Now this is what I want to do. I want to blitz. I want to I want to guard the running back myself. And you see, this normally stops the run pretty well. Uh, the linebacker will shoot in there. That looked like base, I guess. Um, but what I want is I want to guard the running back, and everybody's pretty much manned up. Uh, right here, you see everybody's manned up. Everybody's looking good. He tries to go up top here. Pick. But I went for a pick there. Sherman did not get it. I thought Sherman could get the pick there. Maybe I could swap. Maybe I couldn't. But I, I liked my chances there getting a pick because he covered him so well right there. And this guy has Justin Jefferson as he's going for the corner route with Jefferson. Misses that. That's tough. That's tough. Misses that. Bryce Young misses the corner route. Probably had Jefferson there. I have Sherman and Ed Reed at safety. They're playing man coverage for me. He's going to audible the bunch here, right? And now I have the tight end. I just manned up the running back. So I have the tight end. I'm guarding the flat route, and he's on a wheel route. Good play. I can't even, like, that's my responsibility to that guy. I'm blitzing six people. If you guys see, I think we get home. I mean, yeah, Javon Kirst, Javon Kirst took, a, took a wide angle, but we got home, and I played it like a flat route because it was a flat route, and that's what happens when you play a flat route, a wheel route like a flat route, give up a touchdown. So that was a pretty easy drive. I can't lie. Um, Sherman got beat. I had that one play where I had to run cover four, gave up a corner route. Sherman got beat. That's tough. So uh, that that's going to be it's going to be tough to guard trips tight end. A lot of people are in space. And here we go for a slant early, and our boy smokes it, our boy Warren Moon. So everybody loves Warren Moon. He is the best in the game, but, I mean, he's not invincible, if that makes sense. He's running a dollar, a lot of DB fire type of vibes. Um, I like to ID the corner on the side of the running back to make sure the running back always blocks that guy. You see him go out there and block. Good job. We're able to hit Gasecki underneath, get busy. Gasecki's a horse. We're on a no huddle right here, and actually what happens here. It's one thing we know huddle and we flip. Same thing ID. Uh, and we, I mean, this is easy. It's just a flat, a corner, but the blitzer, if you see what happens, like the blitzer bumps into everybody. Chad Johnson falls on the ground and we get sacked. So we get an early fourth and three. I'm not going to no huddle now. He doesn't come out in dollar here, which I'm actually like happy about. Doesn't come out in dollar. Uh, he's going to blitz. He's actually going to run match coverage and. They match the wrong way. Touchdown, Devin Hester up top. You see it again. He goes for match coverage. It was the same play, you know. We want corner route, flat route, but this guy matches here. They expect this guy to guard the streak and touchdown, Devin Hester. So we tie the game up. Now we got to get back on defense, boys. So, boom. Like I said, this is a big tournament. This is a belt tournament. Got to get it done. He audibles back the bunch. I'm not going to fall for that wheel route again. I cross, man. If you guys see that, this is called scissor adjustment for bunch. It's one of the best adjustments for bunch you could have because there's only two receivers over here, and, it, and it's hard for the, that safety to guard the running back. But if you man up this corner on the running back, we call it scissors because uh, you scissor, you know. 
Uh, the safety does a good job on this guy, and the corner can jump the running back quick pass people like to do. So that's why people do that adjustment for the most part. So I did that there. Once again, I got the tight end on this play. We're sending six people. I got tight end. I'm not getting beat by the wheel route again. See, Javon Kirst gets that loop off the edge. So I'm a big believer in, yeah, you listen, you fool me once, shame on you. If you fool me twice, shame on me. You know, you got your one touchdown with that wheel route. Here we go. Motion's out here. This should be an easy adjustment. I'll just man up. Yep, we got everybody manned up well. Uh, and we get a screamer up the middle. Blunt with the big sack. That's why I always like to blitz extra people. You know, I like to keep this one. I like to loop. But then I also like this other linebacker blitz in here right through the A gap. Boom, big speed up the middle from Blunt. All right, here I like to put this deep blue here because if you guys notice at least twice, he's gone to this corner route. You know, he'll motion in Marquise Brown to help block. And I know this because you see his icon says Brown right here. Brown. So that means he's going to motion him. He's going to motion him in. So that's all I stare at. I still have the running back, but I'm staring at who's he motioning in. So I know if he's going to motion block him, my my corner can do a different thing than have to man up because he's going to block anyway. So I try to put him in a deep blue to try to help stop that corner route. Now he's going to run with him. If I was really sweaty, I could touch uh, that corner so he wouldn't run. But I think he can guard it well anyway. So he's in a deep blue. You see the snap. He gets a motion block. I guess he's not really helping. Maybe I should put him on a 30-yard cloud or something. But we get this free pressure. Kyle Duger up the middle. I, that's what I call him, Duger. And we get a big hit right there. Fourth and 22. He's going to punt the ball. So that's good. Devin Hester is electric. So back to Dollar. Same thing. I like. I don't even slide my line. I just like IDing that guy. As we see, the running back will step out and block him really well. Dump the ball off to Metcalf. I want to see who got just railed on this play pass rush-wise. Deerdorf, yep. Dan Deerdorf, your legend right here. He could be an 80 for that type that type of performance, honestly. You know, but we get a big play to Metcalf. Next play, he blitzes everybody. We go seam. That's tough, especially when you have Devin. That's one of the downsides of having a Devin Hester is that he's not tall up the middle. So, like, I like that throw, but I'd like, a you know, a big six-foot receiver there. Could have been a pick, honestly. Second and 10. We're going to run a uh, deep attack here. Love this play. Boom. I, I can't lie. I need Chad to catch that. As much stuff as they catch in traffic in this game, I feel like this was a great read on cover two here. You know, he takes that route. I take Chad over the middle. Boom. And hey, we got to hold on to that. He doesn't have an ability. That's a, uh, what is it? Stonewall. That's what lit up. Big third and 10 here. Like I said, we're only, it's a tie game. Uh, we're going for a corner route over the top, but I think he's in spinner. Man coverage. Nope. Look at this, though. So, see, when this guy goes in like this, it's normally baseline man or spinner or something like this. So, I would assume that this is man coverage or a third. And I put Chad Johnson on a curl, right? That's a curl. And watch how bad he beats the press. I wish I would have had him on a streak, right? If I put him on a streak, it's seven points. But I put him on a curl there. Yeah, you see he mans up this guy. They were all man, so. I don't know if I still probably could have done that curl, but I didn't like to do that curl when he's behind him like that. Like, when he's behind, like, once he beats the press, I didn't want to do the curl because I didn't want the DB to throw a pick. I already just got to stop. I didn't want to throw a curl yet, so I tried to wait for him to slow down and maybe throw it here, but Vita Vea got me. Forced me to kick a field goal. I'll take it because, like I said, I got to stop. I'm cool with taking a field goal, man. I like playing trips tight end. Everybody lines up well. It's not a lot of stress on the setup. You know, and here we're going to get a motion right here. But like I said, this this defense does a good job of stopping the run almost on its own. So we get them to a second and 12. That time, see, that's the difference. I actually use or touch this guy so he wouldn't run with Marquise Brown here. So I low-key, he's putting a streak still to run off this deep blue so but he's getting hit again warren sap come up with the ball doesn't come up with the ball we get a third and 12 he's going back to bunch drinking the punch uh we got everybody manned up this is like a bunch strong look everybody's down in the box like we're we're, we're sending everybody here i believe sending the dogs at him third and 12 we do. Everybody came home to the quarterback. That had no shot. Absolutely no shot. 
Uh, the adjustments, everything like that, MaddenTurf.com. I feel like this is the best blitz in the game right now. As you can see, I mean, he couldn't throw anything right there. Fourth and 12, he's going to go for this. I like this because if I get a stop, I'm already in field goal range already. You know. So he's going to motion over. I just assume he's going to block his running back when he motions over right there. Maybe max protect. He did max protect. We go corner right. Goes curl. We swat it down with Tariq Woolen. Knocked the ball out right there. So now we got to get a score. We're only up by three. We go for a little sweep action here. Franco Harris, big eight-yard gain. Love that when the run plays work. Uh, the run plays here in West Coast really aren't that strong. We get another one. We get a first down. This is the part of my game where I'm, everybody is always tough to score down here inside the 15, even in real life. Once that field gets a little shorter, you know, it gets a little tougher. And here I made a mistake because he's in nickel now. So he has a junior Seau or Walker or something like that. And you see what happened when Hester tried to try to block Trevon Walker. We lose five yards. So that's not what you want to do here in in the red zone. So that's almost a waste of a play right there. And we can look back at that. He sends five here. Hester makes a nice catch right there. So it gives us gets us into like this is a manageable third down here. A bunch of different plays I like to go to here, but uh, we're gonna try to go corner route, whip route to Gasecki here. Backside in route to Chad Johnson here. And we go for the high ball back corner for Hester. Could have been a pick, honestly. This is just a tough read. And on, when I run this, I should definitely put a taller receiver there. You know, but I see this guy down here. It's clearly covered, too. You know, this is vert hook here. This is a deep half. You know, I should be able to hit the back of this pylon. You know, if he's going to guard this flat... It's tough to hit levels in the end zone, but that's what I saw. And like I said, it could have been a pick. Maybe a taller receiver, high ball. But all in all, it was not that good of a play. And and right now, right now I feel like, you know what? I'm going to get this guy bagged up. Let me keep scoring. Even if it's not touchdowns, let me just keep adding to the point holder. That's kind of how I feel, man, because I feel good on defense against Trips tight end. Once again, we're just straight man coverage here. He's going to try to motion block again. You see, I'm, once he crosses, then I know I got to man him back up. So I manned him back up. Whip route. Ooh, good tackle right there. My man, J.C. Jackson. J.C. Jackson is a good card. What do you go for here? Uh, we just blitzed everybody right here. Jeez. Oh, Ed Reed almost got his hands on. Now, if you guys notice, I've switched Ed Reed and Sherman. Why? I like Sherman on the tight ends a little bit more. Obviously, he's a bigger body than Ed Reed. And if you're getting Pitts or Gusecki or somebody like that, you're going to want a bigger body on those guys. So that's why I like putting Ed Reed. Now he flipped now, so Ed Reed is on the safety. See, now I feel like he's going to go for a block. I do it again. But this time he actually puts this guy on an out route, which is a good adjustment. But we make a tackle here, get him to a fourth and five. He's going to no huddle. So now he's putting that guy on a route when he motions him, which is, which is tough, but we can adjust to that as well. Fourth down. You'll rarely see me on a fourth down where I don't send a lot of people. You don't want the game to get down to a broken backyard play or something like that on fourth down. As he calls the timeout here, fourth and five. This is a big play, man. He's already down six points. He's going to flip and flip again, but I'm cool. You know, I'm probably sending the dogs. I might put that linebacker in a zone. Oh, he motions out the running back here. I'm cool with everything that happens. I think this is yep. Now, this is a play he starts killing me with is this quick out route to Irv Smith Jr. All my budget guys out there will respect a little Irv Smith Jr. action as he gets to delay a game that play. Once again, now he goes motion again. See, that time I put that guy in a cloud, but that little out route is killing me. So it's two-minute warning. So we'll see how we adjust to this little out route here. He's going to motion Brown again. I put that guy in a cloud. He crosses the, the line. I man him back up. See, this is my mistake too, though. Got to make a tackle here. Good click on. Make sure we don't get juke. Just make a tackle. Like, this is a mistake here. You got to know you got pressure this way. So Bryce Young is going to be running this way. So I should always flow with the quarterback. I took the shorter route, but not thinking about where the quarterback is going to flow. When I'm, when I'm lurking here. So I drop back to this route. 
thinking he's going to get rid of the ball, but he's flushed out, so I should have flushed with him to the right and take that crosser right there. Good throw by Bryce Young, man. Made some crazy throws. That Bryce Young card, definitely tough. Here I'm just playing straight run, deuce close here. I'm assuming he's going to try to milk some clock, so I'm playing straight run right here. And he does run for one yard. Here we'll play a little more coverage. He goes to the bunch. Gets a delay. He's doing a lot of audible, so that's tough. Back to chess. What does he do? He scores here. We get good pressure, and Richard Sherman gets absolutely left by Irv Smith Jr. Once again, I mean, Bryce Young got three bodies around him, makes the throw. Irv Smith just beats Sherman. Touchdown. So now, because we kicked field goals, we're down by one. Got to try to respond here. We got to try to respond. At least get some points. Like I said, I get the ball at half, so I'll be okay. Crossing route, Hester. Boom. Maybe a timeout here by me. Yep, timeout. Next play, he goes to that DB fire. That patented DB fire. And we're just going to seam him up to the left side. Not seam him up, but that whole shot over the cover two in front of the safety. Boom. Now we're in field goal range already. I believe, what did we, did we run the ball here? No, we just go verts again. He did the scissor adjustment, see? That's what I mean. That's a tough adjustment. If you guys are playing bunch and you're playing defense, the scissor adjustment is tough. So I'm looking over here. I see this guy shoot down. He shoot over. Then I step up looking for here. You know, all in all, is this is good defense. Like, I, I don't have anywhere to really – I may be B, but I don't really like this throw. So this is this is good defense on that play. So we're able to we have to call a timeout. Second and twelve. We got one timeout left. We'll hit this slant. Big play. Maybe call our last timeout. We do. So 22 seconds. We got no timeouts. We can get tackled. We'd have to spike the ball right away. Gotta be prepared to, to spike the ball right away. We run up here, get down, almost a first down, a second down. We're gonna spike the ball right here. And there's six seconds. Now there's time for a throw to the end zone. There is. But honestly, I don't have a good enough play to think that, you know, I should try anything. So I'm just going to play it safe. And once again, I mean, we're, we've given up two touchdowns, but I feel okay on defense. I don't feel the need to really push points or rush points. So we've kicked three field goals. So that's tough. 16 to 14, but we get the ball. Um, so we're feeling good about that. Uh, here we can't give up a kickoff. So if you see my user, I am like just if you watch my user on this play, this might be soft, but I'm on Thornton. We're just going to run here, get back, go get contained, make sure I don't get blocked. Good job. All right, halftime. I mean, we got to score in the red zone. We need sevens. Defensively, how are we going to adjust to this motion in? Maybe block, maybe go on a route. But all in all, I feel like we're doing okay. I feel I feel confident. I feel good right here. He blitzes a lot of people. We're going to hit Gasecki underneath. Gasecki is actually a monster right now. As he's going to get that first down. He's in the 3-3 now, which I'd rather play than dollar because I feel like if you block up, like I do with my running back here, we just get great pass protection here. Now, he did a good job covering, but I always feel like if you block the running back or you block up, you get good pass protection. As you see, like everybody's, everybody's blocked up here. Now, they're shedding, but everybody's pretty much blocked up. So that's why I like playing against the 3-3 rather than dollar or some type of loop like... No, so here we go back to deep attack. Probably my favorite play. I should hit the ball underneath quicker and almost do a pick there as Warren Moons has popped us. Now, I like watching these back because what I should have did is just boom, X right there. Just get my first down free, right? Absolutely free. Get that first down. This was good defense. I think he manned up the safety on DK Metcalf. Yep. Same. He ran the same defense twice in a row. But I still like Metcalf to make that play. I do. But now we get a third and ten. And he's back to the dollar. Runs coverage here. Or a match almost. Or man coverage base aligned. And I get the corner route to Chad Johnson. Big play. So he's back in dollar now. So anytime we get run yards, positive. Anytime we get run yards, positive. First down on the run, positive. Positive things, boys positive things when we get first down running yards 
All right, back in three three, so I feel better passing now. Man, man coverage just a little bit behind. I have nothing. Second down, in the three three, we're gonna motion over Franco Harris, let him block. DK catches the drag. Almost gets into the end zone inside the 10. Here we are again, my friends. Inside the 10, we're going to just start passing. One of my favorite plays here is inside cross. We're looking running back in route. Maybe this whip, but I'm assuming this is a flat, flat zone coverage, maybe three-man rush. So tough spot. We pretty much got to let his user pick. Is he going in route or is he going running back, you know? That's pretty much what I'm looking here, but, you know, three-man rush, and it's in contain. We're not going to get any pressure. I lied. Our, that guy gets beat. But the, if you watch Franco Harris here, like, he doesn't flatten up this route. He bumps into both of these guys here and slides through the block. One, he probably hurt my blockers, and two, he goes up, he goes way up the field, like, I'm not comfortable throwing this. You know, maybe if he got here or he was at the five-yard line rather than three, you know, he would have had life. But then we get shedded. Not what you want to see. Next play, we go verts. We get a nice scramble up the middle, though. Third down, we're on no huddle to the line. Now, I didn't really want a no huddle because I don't have my main play in my audibles, deep corner. So this was a mistake, no huddle. Now that I look at it, bro, I shouldn't have no huddled right there. I don't have the best play here, but I'm going to run inside cross again. And I don't want to waste the time out here. I need that throw. I need that throw. Like, this was a good read. He goes man coverage here for the bread. We step up. I guess because they bumped. Right when I threw it, they bumped. But this is a big play because, I mean, we're going to go up. We're going to go up by nine points here. You know, but... You know he catches that. You know that's good. And the reason I'm going to kick a another field goal because now I go up by more than a field goal. So I'm going to go up five points here. So that's good. It's way more comfortable than being up two. I don't want to risk being only up two. So I'm going to keep like it's like I'm going to keep being ahead by more than a field goal. That's pretty much my goal because this guy's got 14 points. But I also have two stops at least. So and I've seen this type of offense a million times so we feel good trying to stop it for sure although as you see once again our boy sherman now i've been shading inside a lot on posts and things like that and sherman just he just can't keep up with irv smith dude it's like i don't know it's just tight ends are glitched they're like <clears throat> but he can't keep up with them and once again, like, look at this. One, two, three, and a contain here. And we got our boy, whatchamacallit, Bryce Young making this throw with, it, like, I don't know. And there's people say, Sherman's a zone corner. It's not like he has 72-man coverage, dude. He has in the 80s, plus the boost. He's, like, 85-man coverage, and he's 80, 87, 88 speed. So, like, for me, I still trust him to play man. You know. So he's going to go for two here. Try to go up by three. Here we're just going to play a little bit of coverage, I believe. Uh, if I keep blitzing this linebacker here, it will stop inside zone. Once he motions him out, I feel good. I got a flat route. I got flats, yellows on the left. Yeah, right there. That's that flat route. We got to stop right there. Boom. So we're down by one. Great. Would be nice to get a touchdown at some point here. I'm going to go with a little run. I want to try to run on the dollar. I don't want to pass on the dollar all the time. But here we go. We're going to go a little block. Same thing. Corner route, flood out the left side. We're going to step up. Try to hit X. But let me see who gets shedded here. I mean, it should be easy. But once again, we have that thing where, like, my guys bump, bump, bump. He's manned up on the tight end. X is the read here. But because he got bumped so hard, this guy is able to shed and third and five. You know, third and five after that play. Oh, oh, we held on to the ball. Thank God. So we're just I, I'm going to run the same play. If you're gonna blitz, we're gonna have time. Step up. Good step. 
but we get out of there. So we're going to go to the fourth quarter here. We're down by one. First game of the tournament. This is a long road. Here, we're going to get plenty of protection here, and we're going to hit. Oh, we're going to try, though, to run it back. It was bagged for sure. This was a scary. You know, once again, X, but we have B. B is the read here. We went to the running back before he got to that cloud. Got our hands on the football, but it was definitely scary. All right, now we're trying to do the deeper corner route. We go seam over the middle. Oh, I should have juked right. Finally able to hit a seam, but if you guys realize, this one we did not high ball. So he's going to put his linebacker on the tight end, open up that void in the middle of the field. Hester catches it. So we're closing on a field goal range. Once again, we hit that whole shot. Big hole shot right there. Able to hit that to, to uh, Chad Johnson. Now we're back in our favorite spot, boys. The red zone. What can we do? What are we going to pull out in the red zone here? He sends everybody. We just throw the ball away. Good defense. Second and ten. Great job. Good play right there. As I want to try to get in the end zone right there. But we just draw up old school mesh post here. He goes cover two, I believe. So he's looking at this wheel route to the, to the running back into here or this post. And we're able to get this drag to Hester. We tried to like jurtle into the end zone, but we were tackled. But now we're inside the two. This is where man's football is played, boys. Where man's football is played. We go dive and... We get absolute. Now, listen, we got Fred Taylor, fullback. Don't tell me I've used Juice Check. I've used Patrick Richard from the damn Ravens. I've used all of them. Like, they all get just moved like this by safeties. It's like, all right, so we're going to go to stretch. Stretch right. Good cut back inside, and Franco gets in the end zone. Almost could have got ugly here, but, like, almost bad run stick. But, like, right here, I can't go outside. Fred Taylor goes inside. I can't go outside or I get tackled right there. Got to go back inside. Nice step inside. But then Fred Taylor does then. <laughs> I hate the run. So, you didn't want to block him initially until I got into the hole. And then you ran out and said, no, I want to block the guy I should have blocked. And he was the one that actually tackled me. But we get a stiff arm. That's why we always put it on aggressive when we're down there. We're going to go for two here actually bagged all over the place really now i knew before this play i could not give up a pick two if i give up a pick two then i'm only up by three honestly this is another one where i want this rb back here you know and i got i put hunter henry in there a little bit taller but even this deep half right here is just really baggy and we almost give up a pick two but we tackle him so we're up by five Sherman got to figure it out. That's how I feel. Three minutes left in this game here. I'm not going to change up anything. I'm really not. I feel comfortable. I feel good. I'm not going to change up a thing. I'm just going to rely on Sherman. Now, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I mean, Sherman showed me enough that he's not going to keep getting whipped by uh, what you call it right there. That's that quick out route, man. That's actually killed me. And right there, I don't know if he stopped or he wants to try to milk the clock and he wants to try to make this the last possession. What stones on this guy to try to make this the last possession? Like, okay, have fun. You know, I've always said this, man. If this guy Davo 23 or 28 Roman numeral skills, if he milks out two minutes, three minutes in this game, scores and beats me, then God bless you, shake his hand, and you, you just keep going. So I never panicked to this. If you want to try to milk the game, Let's do it. This is what I'm here for. I want to play defense. So I never care if people like you know what I'm saying. I like I have no problem saying if, if you if you do that and you beat me, then then God bless. Big tackle there by Sherman. We get to a third and seven right here. <clears throat> Once again, Sherman's on the tight end here. He goes motion out. So now Sherman will be on the running back if you if I show it, and then I man up here and he hits that quick flat again. But we get to a fourth and one here. Fourth and one, all the marbles. I'm worried about that quick flat. Uh, that quick flat is tough. So if he motions out, I got to worry about that quick flat, especially for, uh, especially for, you know, trips tight end or for one yard. So same defense. 
uh, we're going to go ahead and just get in here. We're going to play man coverage. We're going to shade inside. We moved up Sherman a little bit. You see I put a I put a hard flat over there, and he ran the ball. And the boys just stood up. The boys just stood up. Big plays right here from the boys. Like I said, this guy's blitzing. He's blitzing. Ramsey in a flat zone just cleans it up as well. Boom. Just... I'll be honest, I'm not running for my for my tournament life. I'm not. But he decided to. Fourth and one, a lot of you guys would run too, so. I don't blame him too much. I wouldn't do it, but you know we're different. So now we're going now I always say if I can get a first down, that'd be great. We go, oh man, we had the will. Good pressure right here, though. Good pressure. Uh, like I said about the five-man rush, like you're going to block it, but we're going to eventually get some pressure. We had the wheel for a tutty. Now, I can milk the clock for sure, but like I said, I want a first down. I want to win this game because I always have an opportunity to win it on defense, right? I always have that opportunity. But uh, for me, I want to be able to win it on offense and defense. He goes man here, and DK just like sold like – so I motion over, and then he just, he he audible, he brings this guy, it's just Metcalf. Just like, that was a weak attempt. So we throw the ball away. So we threw the ball away twice. We've taken about four seconds off the clock. Not what you want to see, honestly. So here we go. I'm going to run a similar play here. He rushes five again. We're going to hit Gusecki in the flat. Boom. Now, he calls timeout. Now, like I said, we could kick this field goal, and we'd be up by eight. But you know what? We can go for two. He needs a touchdown either way. All right? So even if I don't get this two-pointer or get this first down, I will still have a chance to stop him on defense. So it's not the whole game if I don't get this first down, but it's definitely uh, – so I want to give myself two chances. And we're just going to go corner flat again. Flat is open. We're going to go up top to Hester. Boom. Touchdown. That's going to seal it. Like I said, when you get to a fourth and fourth and two, fourth and one, people are playing super aggressive, and this is just free. The tight end might have been open, but he actually has a knockout right now. But you you come down and play man on Hester with Joey Blunt, you're going to give up a touchdown. Just like that. So now we're up by 12. Now, I don't really switch my defense up, really. Uh, I keep running the same defense. A lot of times when you switch your defense up, they can go right down the field pretty easily. I'll never want that as we get a lot of pressure here. He's going to try to go over Ed Reed, and he does actually. Uses a timeout here. And this is 32 points is an odd score because I kicked four. Four field goals. That's tough to kick four. He goes to the corner out here. I mean, he's pretty much cooked right here. Pretty much just put it on the board. He goes back to Sherman. Never mind. Sherman just cannot cover Irv Smith. Is this the best route in the game, boys? He gets the motion block. He blocks up everything. And Sherman just like, I don't know if he's like, I don't know. So he actually gets all that done, scores. He's, he's down by five, goes for the onside. <gasps> oh, he touches it early, though, and we'll get it. GG's, GG's, GG's. So that was game one. That was absolutely game one, boys. Let me know if you like these breakdowns or you want the quicker games. This is we're going on about a half hour. But I'll just tell you what's going through my mind, what I like to do, why I do it, and everything like that. Any questions you guys have, let me know. We're closing on 50,000 YouTube subs.